Hello, my name is Eli Lighto. Welcome to this video where what we're going to do is take a look at how we can create a normal map. So within recent editions of Adobe Photoshop, we now have the ability to generate normal maps within the actual software without using any um, external plugins or additional software. So with that being said, what I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and got a, um, a texture here from cgtextures.com and I've simply just opened this up in Photoshop. Now, if we go ahead and we look at generating the normal map right now, we can see, uh, we can have a quick look at the kind of results we'll get. So if we go ahead and choose filter and let me just go ahead and select the layer here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose filter 3D and generate normal map. And so what is gonna happen is we're gonna get this um, dialog box up here and we're gonna get a few options here. But as you can see, the normal map itself is not really that good. If we if we even look over here, we can see that the normal map is uh, not great. Now, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and choose invert in this particular case um, for this to work. But, you know, as you can see here, you can see that we can increase these sliders as much as we want, but we're not really getting much, um, uh, much of a result. So I'm going to go ahead and choose cancel here. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and modify this image. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and look at where the um, sort of gravel area or the, the, the sort of mud um, area is, is. And we need to go ahead and change this to be uh, more of a black, uh, black tones and the uh, cobblestones or the stones on top here to be more of a white. And so what that's going to do, that's going to help in pushing and pulling um, or, or giving the illusion of a push pull effect within the normal map. So if we go ahead and choose image adjustments and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and choose black and white here first. And we're just going to go ahead and choose okay. So you can see here that um, now this is black and white. As the, um, as the normal map was being generated before, you can see that these grays, uh, these tones are, are very similar to each other. So what we need to do is make the contrast. So we're going to do that we're going to go to image adjustments again and this time we're going to go go over here and choose um, levels and so you can see here that within the level histogram here um, you see we have this blank space here and basically over here so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and take the left um, tangent handle here and pull it all the way over to the left until we get to about this point and we're going to go ahead and choose the right tangent handle and push it all the way over here so you see that this creates much more of a contrast and we can go ahead and take this um, middle section here and just push this slightly to the right, which will give this more of a contrast look. I'm going to go ahead and choose OK and then we're going to go to image adjustments and we're going to go ahead and choose, um, sorry, not levels, image adjustments and uh, curves. And so what we want to do here is we want to try and match the histogram in terms of the, the curve here. So we can do something like this. And if we want, we can go ahead and choose and add an extra point over here and just play around with this and see what we're going to get. So I think something like this is going to be okay. And finally, we're going to go ahead and choose image adjustments and we're going to go ahead and change the exposure here. And we're going to push the exposure up slightly. It's going to push the whites more into white. And we're going to go ahead and pull these up blacks or the offset down here, which is going to push these um, dark areas here uh, more into a, uh, into the black space. Okay, so now we're done, now let's go ahead and choose filter and let's try this again. So let's go to 3D. We're gonna go ahead and choose a generate normal map and uh, give this a moment to load. And now you can see we have much more, um, a much greater effect. Now to better see this, we're gonna go ahead and change the object down here at the bottom from sphere over to cube. And now you can see we have our normal map. Now you can see that the stones are actually beveled inside uh, inwards. So we need to go ahead and choose invert height. And um, if we go ahead and choose the uh, move option up here, we can zoom all the way in. And we'll go ahead and choose the rotate tool up above. So you see here that we have to get something that looks okay. Now, what you can see is that the detail here is a little too fine for my liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just increase the blur slightly. So you can see that now we have more of a blur. And if you want, we can go ahead and change the detail scale here, which is uh, basically gonna change the, the amount of detail that, that can be seen. So basically you just wanna go ahead and find a nice balance um, for your own normal map here. 
So I think maybe something like this is going to be okay for me. We can go ahead and choose okay. And now you can see that we've generated this nice normal map. So with that being said, that's a nice, quick, easy way to generate a normal map um, for use within uh, your game engine. I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you would like to see more Photoshop tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you for watching and bye bye for now.